Hello there. Welcome to this IELTS essay review. My name is Ben Worthington from IELTSWritingTask.net where you can send me your essay and I'll correct all the mistakes, give you tips and advice to help you score higher and yeah, in 24 hours as well. Let's have a look at this essay submitted a few days ago. Now, in many countries recently, young single people have been living far from their parents from the time they begin began studies, began their studies or work and until they married. Do you think there are advantages or disadvantages to this trend? Okay, first of all, let's have a look at the introduction. These days, mm, it's not the most academic, academic uh, construction. We could say in recent times, it would be slightly better. The main problem here is this verb, yeah? Where is it? Young single adults tend to stay far away from their parents. This has connotations of avoiding the parents or keeping at a very long distance. It doesn't mean the same as live far away from their parents. So I think live would have been a more appropriate verb there. The second sentence is not good at all it's very bad in fact because it's empty there's no real detail there it's, although there are some benefits to it there are also some drawbacks to it apart from not really delivering any information there's no details there it's also badly constructed because you don't really need to it and of it because they're empty we don't really know what they're referring to a better way would be um, something like although there are benefits like survival skills there are also drawbacks such as reduced income and we could maybe center this body paragraph around the survival skills and the next body paragraph around the increased costs and structuring it this way Mentioning what we're going to be talking about in both paragraphs, it gives the sentence some substance. Now, there are quite a few grammatical errors in this sentence, in this body paragraph. For example, the wrong verb tense, the wrong verb. Here, they didn't even have a verb. This was probably because it was written quickly. Now, another problem, another area where the student will struggle is that he hasn't got that much vocabulary because we can we see this because it's using the same constructions and the same tense as well as a result they want to um, they want and then here the negative construction they don't want and here the incorrect construction now one alternative would be to use uh, some modal verbs they would like they prefer they would rather that could be one alternative. A better alternative, especially for this part, would be to use a positive construction. Well, first of all, not to use the contractions. That's obvious. However, we could say, finally, um, we could change it to a positive construction and say, finally, they prefer to be seen as mature by being independent from their parents. And they're changing immature to positive, to mature, and then changing this to positive. We're communicating the same, but it's more eloquent. We're not using this negative construction. Right, so there are, of course, more errors, for example, around here. Um, this, is, this is just the introduction and the first body paragraph. If you'd like your essay checked, go to ieltswritingtask.net, send it to me in, e in an email, and uh, yeah, you can pay with PayPal or with credit card, and I'll have a look at your essay and review it for you, so you can discover your errors and start practicing the parts where you go wrong, and eventually you'll score higher and you know, pass the IELTS exam. So. Go to ieltswritingtask.net to get your essay.